Federal highway officials say a number of bridge overcrossings along a major interstate in our region hang too low. So work is being done right now to fix them. But some CBS 13 viewers, like Dave Smith and Loomis, want to know when Caltrans will complete the Raise 80 project. CBS 13's Tony Lopez got answers from Caltrans. Head eastbound on I-80, and you'll see it right there at the exit to the town of Loomis, the bridge work off Horseshoe Bar Road. Lots of drivers travel this stretch every day, including CBS 13 viewer Dave Smith, who emailed to tell me he's losing patience. I would like to know when they're going to complete the bridge project. I know that they've completed the raising the bridge. They did that pretty quickly, but it's the finishing the bridges. I'd like to know when that's going to happen. Everything has to be done. We went straight to Caltrans for the answer. The horseshoe bar overcrossing is this close to being done. That's the good news. The bad? Our recent steady rainfall means this has become a bridge over puddled waters. And the contractor says he needs two straight weeks of dry weather to finish a key element, the concrete paving. It has to be dry before they pave it because there cannot be any moisture within the bridge deck. And then to be able to have the pavement settle properly, it needs to be dry for an entire week afterwards. Understandable, but Dave's still scratching his head. My question is, why didn't, why didn't they get to it sooner rather than wait until now? The answer, Caltrans says it had to wait to coordinate with the contractor because they're not just dealing with one overcrossing. They're dealing with nine. You may have heard of it. It's called the Raise 80 Project. Caltrans has to raise the height of nine overcrossings along I-80 to comply with the federal regulation that says the height of those needs to be 16 feet, 6 inches high. A lot of these overcrossings were built back in the 50s when trucks and all kinds of vehicles were lower. And so, therefore, their heights vary between 14, 4, 15, and so on. So how the heck do you raise an overcrossing? For seven of those overcrossings, we are physically cutting the edges off the overcrossing, bracing them completely underneath, and with jacks, lifting them up to the required height. For the other two, including this work at the Weimar Crossing, Caltrans dug deep, actually lowering Interstate 80 to meet the clearance guidelines. It was determined the Weimar Bridge was too fragile to lift. They'll do the same work at the Newcastle overpass because that's a rail crossing. So when will this entire project finally reach new heights and be done? The end of June. I will say that we are very much hoping for the end of June. We really expect that everything should be finally completely completed by then. Until then, here's something to look forward to. The K rail along the Horseshoe Bar Crossing, those are the barriers that narrow the lanes. We're told those will be taken away by the end of this week. For a closer look at the Raise the 80 project, we've set up a link on our website, cbs13.com.